Hi guys, uh, I got some stuff in the mail this week and I wanted to share with you. I want to bother you with all the things I have bought because some of them are quite quite weird and experimental. Well, these ones are weird and experimental as well. Uh, but I think they're more accessible and uh, in, in some ways and uh, really worth uh, your while, I think, uh, to check them out. Now, um, I'll start off with this one, which is uh, Barn Owl. Uh, this is a reissue on uh, Not Not Fun. And uh, Barn Owl are basically um, uh, drone, uh, drone band. Uh, they do have uh, some passages, some 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 songs that are quite doomy in, in a sense. Uh, so they have like uh, doomy guitars and uh, that kind of stuff. But overall, they're like a very etheric, um, soundscaping uh, sort of uh, sort of band. <clears throat> I'm, I was uh, really really impressed with this one. I had I had heard it on a streaming service uh, here in uh, the UK. And I wanted to buy the record. Uh, it was out of print, obviously, and so you know, the reissue came out, and uh, I thought of, uh, it would be a good idea to pick it up. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's considered to be a good uh, release on uh, this kind of uh, music, drone music, psychedelic, whatever have you. Um, uh, next one is this one. It's called. Mother of Fire, they're um, uh, a trio from uh, Minneapolis, or uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if they're a trio to be honest. On uh, This is on the Distill uh, label, and I'm really excited about this one because I bought it out of um, reading a review, and usually, you know, reviews don't always tell you exactly what, what, what to expect, but um, it sounded, uh, sounded interesting. Uh, it sounded, it read interestingly anyway, and actually this this band actually does sound uh, very interesting. Is um, uh, give you the setup. It's uh, drums, bass, uh, violin, uh, female vocals, which is always positive, and also they have a guitar. In some some of their pieces, they do have guitar, and it's quite loud and fuzzy. Now, one of the interesting things about it, so obviously you know you have violin which is quite an uh, interesting organ to have uh, on a on a band and they play this kind of tribal uh, psychedelic kind of uh, music they have this drive in bass because obviously they don't have that many organs but the bass is really high on uh, on the mix and um, they have this, uh, this drive in rhythm behind it and then everything goes on top of it but it doesn't disappear it's always there in the mix and it's quite 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 good I definitely recommend you checking them out and I think that this is one of the bands that if you watch live it's going to be amazing uh, I, I'm not 100% sure if they can convey this on, on the record but um, sorry about the glare but uh, definitely if you can well, go watch them live. I think that it's going to be one hell of a band to watch live. I'm uh, keeping my eye out to see if they actually play here. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a really good one. And uh, last, but certainly not least, is this one. It's a box set uh, from a band called Parson Sound. Uh, it's a Swedish band very short-lived one uh, that they were active in the years of uh, 1967 to 1968 um, and they were created by uh, a guy now I'm going to show you inside of the box set because it's a box set and it's three records and uh, printed sleeves and everything so um, really good reissue um, and what happened with this record with this Parson Sounds record was that basically the band was there they recorded some stuff uh, all of it is live 
but it never came out. Uh, essentially, never it was never released in back in the 70s, in the 60s or 70s. Um, and in the 19 uh, in 2000, excuse me, early 2000, it was re-released by the uh, with the help of the Ministry of Culture of Sweden. So you know, kudos to them. And um, and actually, I think it was it was uh, the banner was created because uh, of the Ministry of uh, Culture in in a way uh, of Sweden, because they were having Terry Riley, uh, famously writing in C, um, which uh, who, who was at the time visiting uh, Sweden, and they wanted a band to back him up or to play music um, in. In his concert, and so he, so they got some some musicians together, and uh, what came out was um, this record, which is um, uh, these recordings, uh, to be more, uh, to be more exact. So what 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 can you expect from this one? This is this is a brilliant album. Uh, it's a brilliant album because it's uh, it has all these. Uh, elements into it, so it has um, a lot of experimental stuff in the sense that it has a lot of repetition and it is inspired sort of uh, in a way from uh, minimalist music, but at the same time it has this kind of spiritual feel to it with um, uh, horns and organs that sound like uh, very very Buddhist in a way. Um, they have this kind of uh, noisy repetition and intensity that the Velvet Underground have, and really long songs, and it's uh, it's just really really uh, amazing kind of uh, listen. And um, there are elements of it that just border on uh, free jazz, and there are elements of it that are very close to crowd rock, and um, it's just an amazing record. I mean, uh, I did have the CD, the double CD that came out in 2000, I don't remember when. And uh, it was reissued on Triple Vinyl like uh, two or three years ago. Uh, hang on. I have the, uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't actually say. It's a limited edition, 1,000 copies. Obviously, not a lot of people will be interested in this. And uh, um, triple CD, uh, triple LP, sorry, on uh, subliminal sounds. I'm not given the best kind of uh, description for the music. Uh, there are a lot of reviews out there. Um, I recommend that you go and actually read them. Um, it's uh, it's just uh, an unbelievable album it gives you the sense of you know you, you go into a trance listening to this kind of music uh, and it was kind of inspired from this kind of musical movement in the 60s from uh, minimalist music and experimental music from Terry Riley and uh, Lamont de Young and all these guys and Kale and uh, uh, Cage and all these people that made experimental music at that time so and it's it has a rock and roll sensibility as well so it makes it an excellent album uh so yeah check it out um hope you liked the video uh enjoyed it please uh, leave any kind of uh, comments subscribe if you haven't if you like my videos anyway and uh, talk to you soon bye